Welcome to part six in our LXR tutorial series. This one on useful shortcuts. Well, every machine seems to have its little collection of magic spells you need to memorize. The LXR is no different. Shift performance is one of the best ones. That's the pattern generator. I did a whole video on the pattern generator, but it's one of the important ones to remember, especially because there's no indication it actually exists. You just need to go shift performance and you're in the pattern generator the length of the pattern, the number of steps, how it gets rotated backwards and forwards from the start position, and um, that's the morph, which is not really connected in this instance, but we'll press play, wiggle a knob, and there it begins. It is useful to know just because it is so quick and easy to use. So, just like that, you've got a pattern happening. Of course, you may decide that that is far too crowded, and you'd be right. So, let's go into record mode and get rid of some of those steps. We'll start with the closed hat here. So, we're in record mode, shift clear. Whenever we hit the clear button, it's going to delete. Let's now go into another little function, which is, you see here, ROL, which is the roll amount. It's on 16, we can change that, but we'll stick on 16 for now. On roll, now we press open hat, and we'll see here, closed hat, open hat, and if we hold it down, so we've got the roll function. That's a nice one to remember, but, Again, it's a bit too much, isn't it? So we'll go back into our clear function, shift clear. Thin it out a bit. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's say we like that for some weird reason. Let's have a look at something else, which is last step. So shift, last step, last step, track seven. Currently, it's got 16 steps. So you can change how many steps it happens to have, but that's not really the function we're looking at in this case. Here's our pattern. If we hit last step again, instead of track seven, last step all. So now, if we turn the data knob, every track now has 32 steps, but of course, we've only programmed 16. Now before we completely mess things up, let's just save this. So, save pattern 16, you get the success message. Now let's go back into shift last step. It defaults with whatever track you happen to be on, and then you could change the last step on individual tracks, and there's lots of ways to change last step, but this is a good one because you can go shift last step again, and that's last step all. So we'll play it. I mean, obviously we can go much less, But in this case, let's go up to 32, which means we're going to get the pattern playing, and then every track has an empty pattern after it. Now, not particularly useful, you might say, and you'd be right. But if we combine it with the next little shortcut, which is the copy and extend function. Now, let's say We've got the bass drum here, copy and bar up. 
what that does is take whatever is in the current bar and copies it to the next bar up. So currently the bass drum, of course, when we play it, there's nothing there. But if we go copy bar up, now we've copied that bass drum into the next bar up. Now we can select another sound to do that with. Let's just take the closed hat, so copy bar up. Let's take the open hat as well, copy bar up. Something else which I think is an interesting way to create variations is the global sample rate. So if you go into performance mode, the final one here, sample rate SRT, is the global version. Now if you're on individual voice, you get the sample rate here is the second last one. Whoops. So if you whoops, go along from sound to sound, you've got the sample rate as an individual parameter per sound, but in performance mode, sample rate at the end here, and just by changing that as a global parameter, you can get pretty interesting variations. Especially in a performance, or if you're sampling it, It's an interesting one to remember to create variations with. Now, automation is a very nice thing, but maybe you think, ah, that sounds complex. I can't be bothered to learn all that. Well, let's just go into last step again. We'll just take it back to 16 to make this a bit easier to hear. So here's our pattern. Let's see what might be nice to very, let's say this one, let's put a couple in. Okay, so we've got this one. Let's say we want to automate something there. And you think, oh yeah, but I don't want to learn automation. Well, that's okay. Just be on the sound that you want to automate. Hit record. Here's a parameter. Now we've automated the decay. We could do it a bit more. So you can have fun, you can just continually play it. So you find something you like. So we've automated the decay there. Let's try something else. Here's the closed hat. Let's automate that as well. Um, and totally mutilate things. Here's the master tuning. Well, it wouldn't be fair to show you the quick way of automating things unless you could go back from the terrible, horrible mess. So, Let's just say that our bird tweeting bass drum is not perhaps exactly what we wanted. We'd like to get rid of that. So make sure you're on the sound that you want to eliminate the automation from. And we go shift clear. Well, we don't want to clear the pattern or the track or the kit. 
on a clear automation. Now you won't know for sure whether you're on automation channel one or two because we've done the quick and easy method. So we'll just do it on one. And that's got rid of it. So just to recap, be in record mode, be in the sound that you want to change. We've done that one but in the wave shape, but let's say we think now. Nah. And again, we might say, uh, no. It's all a bit, uh, it's all a bit full, isn't it? So there is the quick and easy method of automation. You don't really have to know anything except be in record mode and twiddle the knobs. Now let's say this has amused you greatly, but it's all just been a wonderful experiment and you'd like to go back to whatever it was that you actually saved. Well, you did save something, didn't you? Shift reload. and that gets you back to whatever it was that you saved. So, that's all a bit of fun. There's some of the shortcuts to learn. Until next time, see ya.